<clears throat> Sorry, the music is a little bit loud. Let me turn that down. It is down. We'll turn this down to... That still sounds loud. It's probably my headset. All right, so how's everyone going? Um, how's everyone going? How's everyone doing? I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, so I'm Cast Eclipse. We are going to be unlocking some characters on Risk of Rain 2. Um, I did already unlock some just because uh, I did play quite a bit the other day and I wasn't streaming. Um, but I will go over which ones I unlocked and how I unlocked them. Just give me a second to unmark everything here. This, uh, all the ones that are highlighted in yellow, like these two right here to the right of my cursor, um, those are new items that I unlocked. So I'm just going through and unmarking all of those. I don't know how you unlock those environments. I don't know how that works. I uh, can't tell which one of these are locked or not, or not locked, but which ones are marked and unmarked. Oh, there we go. They just say new on them. So those are a couple people that I unlocked there. That's why those are marked. As you can see, I've only uh, done it twice. Um, so... Fate Unknown means that you obliterated, um, which we'll go over that once I actually get to that spot. And then Victory means you actually beat the game by doing the final mission. Um, Fate Unknown is kind of the same thing. You still beat the game and everything, um, but it was like an actual, like you obliterated yourself. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. You killed yourself, basically, in the game. Um, but uh, there's a chance you might have been teleported somewhere. I don't know. Um, anyway, we're going to do this single player. We are going to do it on the easy mode just because I noticed that it is a lot easier to unmark the uh, the characters um, on easy mode. So don't care what you say. Uh, we're doing it on easy. All right. And then so these two, um, if you guys remember a couple streams ago, these two automatically come unlocked. You have your commando here. You have your huntress here um the bandit um and i actually pulled this up online just because i'm not um 100 sure these so i wanted to make sure that i did know um and then i'm giving you guys information so the bandit i didn't know how i unlocked him but i did unlock him um literally all you have to do is complete three stages without dying um and then actually before i go a little bit further let me go back to the commando real quick so if you look at his skills here and then you also have your loadout you'll see that you have uh secondaries all the characters have secondaries but it tells you in here how to unlock those once you unlock the character you just come to load out you'll look at the locked icon and then in the center of the screen there you can see it says requires commando rolling thunder um, as commando land the killing blow of an over overloading worm so that's how you would unlock that one this one says as commando clear 20 stages in a single run without picking up any lunar items so you guys get the concept of how to unlock those um, but i'm just going over unlocking the characters um, so we really don't even need to um, look at their, their loadout or anything. But like I said, the bandit, you would literally just need to um, complete three stages without dying. Molt T, uh, this is one of the ones I unlocked yesterday. Without you guys, I do apologize. Um, I didn't even realize how I unlocked him. This is what made me look it up, actually. Uh, so Molt he's actually really good. Um, he's extremely slow, but it's crazy, like... I, I accidentally picked him and I was like, whatever, I'm just going to play it. I'm just trying to do something real quick. I ended up beating the game with him. He has amazing, um, I guess, armor, if that's what you want to call it. It doesn't say it in here. Um, maybe it was a lucky item that I picked up. I don't know, but um, he was being shot at and almost everything he was being shot with was reflecting to uh, other creatures and everything. So I ended up beating the game with him. Um, but to unlock him, you literally just have to beat the first stage five times. So because I kept playing, because I kept playing um, and, you know, trying to do the other unlocks, I ended up unlocking him because you literally just have to do that first stage five times. Uh, this next one, um, the mercenary. <clears throat> so I'm not going to go over the ones that I have not unlocked yet. Um, but I will say that the uh, the first one there is going to be the engineer. Um 
you know what? I, I'll go ahead and I'll tell you guys how to unlock all of them. So the engineer, um, it's called engineering perfection. You have to complete 30 stages in the game. So that means that you can't obliterate and you can't do a victory just because if you do those two things, um, uh it basically ends the game and usually that's around like 20 i think somewhere around there um the artificer that's the one we're going to shoot for today um you have to basically buy him from the uh the bazaar merchant the bazaar merchant whatever you want to call it um you need i think it i think before it used to be 20 of the uh the lunar coins um when i beat it the other day with the multi guy i went there and it's actually only 10 and i think we have like 11 right now so we're going to go ahead and try to get him today uh, and then that brings us to the one we're on now, which is the uh, mercenary. So you have to do what I did with multi. You have to get to the end and you have to obliterate yourself. That is very key. You have to obliterate yourself and not beat the game. Um, like I said, those are two different things. You're still beating the game by obliterating yourself. But I, like I said, if we actually make it that far, I will, um, I'll explain that to you guys. Uh, and then we have Rex here. You guys seen how I did Rex um, when you first come into the game and your escape pod uh, lands. There's a little latch on the side of the escape pod that um, it actually shows uh, like a little hatch there. Um, that hatch is what's needed in order to, um, I guess, open up the, uh, what's it called? To open the, um, oh, I can't even think of it uh it basically opening it up shows um what's it called um like a little item in there um it, it is like a uh, a special item that you can get and you have to basically take it to like the fifth level or something like that and once you're at the fifth level that is where you can basically take it and put it in there and it's basically like the little flower part on top of his head um you put it in there and he kind of pops out of the ground and that's how you unlock him uh, it's really weird, but I did a video on that one. I think it was a live stream on that one as well, so definitely check that out. Uh, and then we have, let's see, we have the loader here. Um, so the loader, I uh, don't remember how, but like I said, I do have this pulled up. Uh, so you have to defeat Alloy Warship. Um, the Alloy Warship unit in the Sirens Call Stage. That's the one that we did the other day as well, where you... Um, you basically destroy a whole bunch of eggs and the alloy warship unit comes out you kill it and that's how you unlock him um you do have to kill it though because you you do have to actually defeat it uh then we have acrid which is in between these two um he looks like a lizard basically like the uh the giant fire breathing lizards that we fought before um in order to get him you have to do a um a a thing called uh, to be left alone you basically have to clear the void field stage um i was very close to doing it yesterday um but they actually killed me quite quite badly towards the end i did not realize that it would get that hard but it definitely did and it was not uh cool at all um and then there is uh the captain here uh which is the one we're on now so the captain is um he is uh basically you have to actually beat the game by doing a victory like so winning the game you have to actually go to the last stage beat the final boss and then you get into like a ship and it leaves the moon and stuff like that and you leave that now if you're looking this up online there are two other um survivors or i guess unlockables um one you can do right now uh but it's um, actually, I guess there's three. Is there three? One, two, three. Yeah, there's three. My bad. So, um, one you can do right now. Um, mm, you know what? No, no, no. So, the two of them. Maybe even the third. I don't know. These might require DLCs. Uh, so you have the Void Fiend. Um, it says Escape the Planetarium. Um, or complete wave 50 in simul simulacrum. Uh, simulacrum is basically like a, uh, a survival game mode um, that you'll be put into after doing the uh, the void fields. Um, you go into a place called the Void Locus. You go in there and you just have to basically survive to like wave 50 or whatever. Well, after wave 50 because once you beat 50 is when you unlock him. Uh, the Rail Gunner is 100% a DLC. It is um, it's called Survivors of the Void. Um, we don't have him, obviously, because we don't have the DLC. I didn't even realize there were DLCs until I looked this up. 
And then this last one, uh, this is kind of a spoiler if you don't want to know about this. Um, please don't listen. Uh, you know, pause it for a second and then kind of skip forward whatever you got to do. Uh, so I don't think this one is a DLC, but there is one called the Heretic that you can unlock. The Heretic is, um, what's it called? He is basically like one of those, the uh, the birds that we were talking about before. Um, you basically can unlock him. You can do this with any character. He is not one that you can permanently unlock. Um, but if you equip the, vo the Visions of Heresy, the Hooks of Heresy... Uh, Essence of Heresy and Strides of Heresy, which, if I'm not mistaken, those are all lunar items. Um, if you equip all of those items, then you can actually become the Heretic, and he gives you a whole new set of weapons and everything like that. So I'm assuming you'd probably need a whole bunch of, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Void, or not Void, uh, a whole bunch of uh, the lunar coins in order to unlock the Heretic, but it's not a permanent unlock. All right, so like I said, our goal in this one is just to unlock the Artificer. If we get some of the other ones, perfectly fine. Uh, we can definitely go for the Engineer if we get that eye. Um, and then how did we unlock the Lizard one again? So the Lizard... Actually, we can probably do that one too because that one's just going into the, uh, the Void Field. So we might be able to unlock all of them in just this one round, but we'll see what happens. It's not a guarantee, guys. Um, the question is, who do we want to do this with? Sorry about that, I had to cough. So yesterday, um, I obliterated with this guy, which, um, like I said, he's very slow. It kind of got annoying. Um, I didn't really even like it until like halfway through the gameplay just because uh, I finally got a whole bunch of like speed items to speed him up. Um, but we also did a victory with this guy, which is just like our main balance guy here. Um, and we even switched out this because we did unlock it. So instead of doing like a roll for a distance, um, you can slide on the ground for a short distance. And you can still shoot while you're sliding. So I figured that's probably the same as the roll, except you still have the benefit of being able to shoot. Um, now the thing is, though, that sometimes I use the roll... Uh, because this just does say roll for a short distance. Sometimes I use a roll from falling from like a high height. I will use that. I don't know if I can do that with the uh, with the tactical slide. I think you have to actually be running on the ground and then slide. So I guess we'll find out with that. But we're going to go ahead and start this up. We'll leave it on him. We'll just jump out here. And for Rex, this is the item I was talking about. You just come here, you open up this panel. And you grab this, which is called the Fuel Array. Um, but like I said, we did do that in another video. So we are just going to try to get to the, um, the Bazaar, Bazaar, whatever you want to call it. And um, at least get the Artificer in this one. And then if we can make it 30 rounds, we'll get the Engineer. And if we can make it uh, to the Void Fields, we'll get um, our last guy, Accurate. It was doing this yesterday too, so I mean granted this is round one, but um, not too many people were spawning in right away, and it was honestly kind of annoying, because I was like, where's all my points? Um, but at the same time, I also came across quite a bit of stages that didn't even have like maybe but one or two chests in them, and I mean I looked everywhere, and honestly it was kind of annoying, that was the wrong button. Okay, so you can slide, can you slide in the air? You can. Okay, okay. So that'll still save us from just falling and dying. Alright, we got bullets to take down the boss faster. Throw him off. Oh, did we get him? We did. I don't know if they die when you do that. I th Honestly, I think they just respawn somewhere. But whatever, we'll take it. Here, open this up. We got uh, Death Mark, which we will take it. Doesn't really do anything um, just because we don't have enough to put uh, debuffs on anyone just yet. But once they have four debuffs, and actually it takes a lot to put debuffs on anything. Now we go. No? Oh. 
one point away. Come on. Where's... Where's all the bad guys? There you are. Thank you. Hold an additional equipment charge. Uh, reduce... Which one's the equipment charge? Is it this one? I don't think it's that one. Is it this one? I don't, I don't think that worked. I don't have an additional equipment charge. Oh no, equipment is the uh, it's the orange item we get. Never mind, that's actually pretty cool that we already have that. So that's like your, one of your well, what can be, depending on um, what you do with it, it can be your most uh, powerful weapon, depending on which one you have. Wow, that dude jumped off on his own. enemies and I got them. Alright, we're good, we're good. That only took us to 80, I thought we'd be at 100, but that's okay. I hear people spawning behind us, that's also okay. Do we want to go up or down, up or down? Uh, I think we'll start with down because I think the portal's up top, so we'll do that part last. And then for those of you that don't know the R1 with this guy, it stuns the enemy. Um, so when you're stunning the enemy, uh, obviously they can't shoot or anything like that, so it definitely helps. And then, then we have this here, which is uh, the challenge of the mountain. So when you do the boss fight, um, a second boss will also spawn in, so basically it'll double the bosses. But it will also give you two items at the end, and you can tell if it's activated by looking at the portal. Which I thought the portal was up top, so maybe we'll just go up top. But you look at the portal, you can see the three little icons there, which is the same icon that was above the, um, the portal there. Ow. I got guys behind me that I don't want my back to. No, I don't. Never mind, I thought it was something else. I thought it was the uh, the rock golem guys. I just saw the red lights. I hear him though. There's one up there. Thought he fell down behind us or something, but I guess not. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just continue down here because there's not much else down here. Um, we won't activate the portal yet, but we'll at least grab everything down here. And then we can actually use that exhaust thing, uh, the geyser, to shoot back up to the top. Um, yeah, there's not even anything really down here. Oh, and that geyser is not going to take us all the way to the top. It's only going to take us up to that little spot. But that's okay, because we can check up there too. Got that. Okay, so jump on the geyser real quick. I hear a big guy or something. Oh, it's the skull one. So okay. Ow. Checking something real quick. Probably shouldn't be doing that while I'm playing this. So I stopped him from shooting the beam using the R1. That's why I told you guys about uh, R1 stunning them. Because if you stun them, it won't let them do their beam. Those guys. That, they get the little uh, dizzy halo thing above them. Ow! That was yes. It threw him up right when he shot. All right, you know what? Let's just get off this ledge here. Alright, and then this one I almost never activate, um, but I'll tell you guys what it does. So this one is the one of the woods, I think it is. 
Yeah, Shrine of the Woods. Um, so all it does is it throws down a heal for you real quick. Um, I don't know how long that heal stays there, but basically it puts a green circle around the uh, around the thing there for you to um, to heal or whatever. So. A lot of points behind us. That's how I see the enemies. They're just points, guys. They're just points. Okay, keep going. Now we'll go up top. I'm missing a whole area. But I think it's just this where we're at right now, so. I don't even see anything. Oh, yeah, there is stuff up there. Okay. Uh, what is that? No. See, and I, I ended up getting so much money yesterday, too, with some of the other characters that I just bought everything. I bought all the drones. I bought, like, literally everything, everything. Everything I ran over, I was buying it, even if it was just, like, a stationary turret. Which, I mean, it helps because, you know, if you're running around and there's enemies behind you, then the turret will stop and shoot them. So I'm not saying don't get that stuff, but most of the time I don't. And then nothing up here. Just this thing, but that's for an artifact. We don't have any artifacts. We're not doing any artifacts. Okay. Alright, so now we can go down, do the portal, and um, the thing, this thing, the slide that I unlocked, um, it is actually, it has to do with uh, this first boss. So if you want to unlock it, basically, um, you see the timer that's up in the top right, how we took almost 10 minutes just to even get to the, uh, to the boss. Um, all you have to do is kill that first boss within 5 minutes, like before that timer reaches 5 minutes. Um, it can get a little hectic because at that point you don't really have too many upgrades or anything like that and you're being overwhelmed by everything because you literally just run straight for the the, um, the portal so I will say be careful with it um, but it's definitely doable all right and then let's leave all these guys up here we'll go down here and we will start the uh, the portal and keep in mind, we are going to have two bosses here. That's a gunner drone. I don't want it. If it was a stationary drone this close to the portal, I would have picked it up. Um, you know what? We have the points for it. We'll go ahead and pick it up anyway. Ah, I missed it. Okay, well, that's all right. So this is what I was talking about. We have this guy here, and we have one exactly like him right to the right over there. I don't know if you guys can see him. I'm not looking at him at the moment. cool this is why you need the uh, the jetpack or anything like that um, the double jump because when they launch you like that if you get oh that's no okay because when they launch you like that if you get um if you just like fall straight you're gonna get hurt quite a bit so some of these smaller guys
we go. And see, drops two items. So grab this one and this one. Oh, and please don't let me die. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. are not bad. I don't like the little squid things that are here, but we'll take it. I do think that they have added a lot to this game, because even when I beat it yesterday and I was um, doing the boss, the boss is way different from what I remember. Uh, the fight itself is pretty much still the same, but um, there's, a, uh, there's like a ship that you have to unlock a a portal for, or not a portal, uh, like a, what is it, like a force field, a shield basically around it, um, and I don't remember that, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff, but I also haven't played this game um, since the last time I beat it for quite some time. Very helpful. And we need to get down inside that hole down there. I don't think there's anything down in there. There, there's an item, but I don't remember exactly what it does. Um, it said it the very first time I shot it, but since then it really hasn't done much. But I'll at least show you guys what's down here. And it looks like, I thought it was a character before, but I don't think it is. I don't know what this is. It looks like a, like a skeleton in a fetal position. Right there. Like, I have no idea what that is. It is a skeleton in a fetal position. Like, I have no idea what this does. If anyone knows, please let me know. Maybe this is for one of the artifacts, because it does have the artifact thing here. But yeah, I, I don't know. It, when you shoot it, it doesn't say anything. The very first time I shot it, it said something. But um, since then, it hasn't really done anything at all. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, we'll take the bear. Chance to block incoming damage. Haha. fact since there's no enemies around we'll go ahead and grab this we do have to be careful though because um, we don't have any healing items at the moment so we have to actually wait for our health to come back oh speaking of healing So now we can take 75% of our health. So the only reason, like I said, that I do this one is it gives you a lot of points. Uh, so right now we're at 207. If I pick that up, it takes 75% of my health. Now we're at 349. But if obviously if you guys don't want to risk that, um, then don't do it. Because the last one does take 93% of your health. But we have another healing item here, so we'll probably go back and do it. What do we got? Oh, same thing. 
And I guess that would make us heal way faster. Oh, there's another thing over here too for more points. So look at that, we're at 23. I thought we were at like 11 yesterday. We have way more than enough coins to unlock the, uh, the artificer, artificer, whatever you want to call them. Pronunciation, guys, I don't know it. Go ahead and grab this, take us down to 50% health. Should come back fairly quick. That's not as quick as I thought it would. We could get that, but we're not going to. Grab this one, 75%. No enemies, we'll do the 93%. Of course, enemies are gonna spawn in around us. I heard them, where are they at? No, no enemies, all right. do that 193 one out here um, it's kind of out in the open easy to get a uh, bombarded um I might actually well no because it's way further than that looks yeah there's no point in doing those uh, things back there So we just got to remember that the teleporter is back here in the corner. Which I'll probably forget. Surprised we haven't gotten an equipment thing yet. Missed 
Tennessee with all my shots. Stupid jellyfish got in the way. There we go. Nah, not worth all that. Nothing. And... Not really worth all that either, but whatever. We had the points for it. There's a golem. And I think this is pretty much full circle down here. Oh, a little back area. Anything back here? No, where's that launch up there? Oh, I guess, yeah, we should probably go up there. Um, yeah, and then this is where we started. Okay, let's go up the thing here. Oh, I almost made it around that corner. Anything up here? So sometimes there won't be anything at all up here. Um, just because this is like an area that you don't always have the geyser for and you need flying items, which I don't know if they took out the flying items, so I still have not seen one, which is really weird. Um, but then again, I played this game for quite some time, and I mean, there's still items that, like even on the PS4 version, that I never unlocked. back down so we need to check up on there up on here and up on there and that's it and then we can bail ow what do you want one item mm. no because you'll probably take my damage to boss item I only got one so when I come across those if it says one item um, that means it's going to take one of your items and it'll give you this. This item here is not a bad item. Every time you level up, it'll drop that banner and it'll give you like a bubble around you, which will let you do more overall damage. Um, the way that I tell myself whether I want it or not, and this isn't, I'm not saying that you guys should do this because it's completely up to you. Um, but the way that I determine whether I want that item or not, or whether I should get that at the risk of losing one of my items, is I will look at all of my items that I only have one of and see if those are worth losing. The only one to me that's not really worth losing, actually I guess there's two of them up there, um, is the uh, the gas can looking one, which makes them explode when I kill them, like that. Um, and the one on the far left, the two bullets, uh, that does extra damage to the bosses. So I don't want to lose either one of those. Like there's anything up here. What is that? A turret? Yeah, it's just a healing drone. I doubt there's anything up there, but I guess we can go look. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything up here. Alright, so we just need to check over there where the golems are coming from, over in that area over there, and then we can go to the portal. So yeah, we can just go straight to the portal. I don't know if we can make that. Nope. All right, we gotta run all the way around. Ooh, three coins. Almost missed it. And we'll unlock you just to kill some of the guys behind us. We will also unlock you and you to kill some of the guys behind us. And then we'll go do the boss.
I don't want these big guys taking out the turrets. Stop it, there's no more big guys. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this open. And see who we got here. Wondering Vagrant, where you at? There you are. That is electric nova at low health. Okay. Alright. Did we miss something over there? What's covered by the red thing? regular box. Oh, it's a turret. Okay. Yeah, we're fine then. We can just go complete it. Perfection complete 30. Oh, okay, so we just unlocked the engineer. Um, I thought it had to be 30 stages back to back, but evidently we have now played 30 stages on the PS5 because we just unlocked the engineer. Good to know. Did those turrets come with us? Why are they marked? Standalone turrets come with you. That is new. That is 100% new. Those are the three turrets I unlocked in the last stage. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I didn't know it, but I'm not complaining. I wish I could pick them up and move them. Necklace, got killing orbs on kill, we'll take it. Uh, definitely want mushrooms, more heals. Um, normally I would go for the bullets that were in there, just to get more bullets, because we already have one set of bullets. Uh, and it will definitely do more damage to the uh, boss, but I don't normally have problems with the boss and we don't have that many heals that you can get that when you stand still it does this. That's healing us right now, so. And you can literally just stand still and shoot an enemy while still getting healed. So that's why I took that over the, uh, the bullets. In case anyone's wondering. What else we got? Um, oh, we got equipment. Two things of equipment. Uh, definitely don't want that one. That one's not amazing. We'll go for a random one. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Still got the cube. 
So that's all it does as far as black hole with the enemies uh, draws them in. I don't think you get points for this one. Um, that's why I don't like it. Um, let's say change it, but we can see. Oh, it's just pulling them. It's not even hurting them. Okay, I guess that's not too bad. I mean, it'll keep all the enemies in one spot, I guess. Uh, what do we got here? We'll go for the speed. We're a little bit slow and we don't have any speed items yet. Got two items here. Um, crit. Nope, that's a chance to bleed. I don't know why I always think that's crit. Turtle. Ow. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I don't know if that works on bosses, though. That's the thing. What is this a single item? Um, no, because I just only have one bullet. And I don't want it's my luck. It would give away that bullet. Oh, didn't even see this. Let's do the chance thing. What do we got? Razor retaliate in a burst of razors on taking damage. Okay. We got a rusty key. That's it. Only two items, that's crazy. Normally it at least does three, but I guess the rusted uh, key stopped us. So the rusted key, um, eventually on one of the maps there will be a rusted chest that you can find. That key is the only thing that opens it. Um, doesn't always have good items, but it can. I think the portal's the other way, so we'll go this way. Oh, you guys are overpowered. Okay. I'll come back to you. Oh, here we go. Another item. Let's see if this one's worth it. Uh, no. So I think, if I remember correctly, that one just heals you. Um, I can pick it up here in a second. We'll see what it does. So let's see. This one... Yeah, heal on use. It's not bad, because um, technically we have two um, equipment uses right now. So if we ever get low, we can just pop it. I think it does heal you all the way. So it wouldn't be bad to get, but um, I prefer damage over health. At least for the equipment. There ain't nothing out here. Anything on the ledges? Uh, we don't need that. So basically, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I'll show it to you guys. Um, that stone that we just passed up, it will take one of my lunar coins, but we have 23 of them, so that's why I'll show it to you guys. If I remember correctly, it does one of two things. It either gives you an item, or it just um, says something about the altar. So this is for the Newt Altar, if we hit square on it. Oh, the blue orb appears. Okay, so yeah, we did need that. That's how we're going to get the Artificer. I'll show you guys where the blue orb is in a minute. It's um, it's normally on the portal.
See, now we have enough health items to go ahead and pick this up without worrying. So I could literally just stand here, start healing, pick it up, we're at 50% and we're already being healed at the same time. Pick it up, we're at 75%. And then this last one's gonna be a little tricky. In fact, with the last one, one of the things that we can do Take this bad boy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up. It will leave us with only seven percent health, and then we can use the the um, equipment to reheal ourselves, and then go get our other one back. So pick this up. You can see there only so much left. Hit triangle, gives us our health back, and then we can go switch it back. And it also didn't heal us all the way either. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So, sketchy, but it's okay. We're still alive. Alright, let's run around here. check and see if there was anything underneath here because sometimes there's items under here no okay I still don't have a double jumper I would just double jump up there uh, can we no although I did hit the ledge that was my fault but whatever we're gonna say no Take the geyser to the next area. Is there any items down here? Oh, guess not, because that's going to take us right back up. And the portal somewhere in the area? Okay, it's actually right here. Okay, so we're not going to grab the portal yet. There's the blue orb that the uh, that new thing um, giving the coin to that new altar. That's what it did. come back there anyway. We need to finish checking this last piece up here. Over here, grab this. Got the buckle. Buckler, I should say. Those are two different words. Grab this. Heals. Nope, that's slow enemy on hit. We'll check the bottom and up here at the same time. Normally there's nothing like up under this ledge, but just in case. And there's nothing up top here, so we can actually jump back down here and take a look. Nope, nothing. Go up here. Um, looks like there's a box over there that I missed. It's not a box. Came all the way over here for nothing. That actually, that um that black hole or whatever you want to call it, it actually comes in really handy with those teleporting guys. So that's actually one of the things that I don't like about them. Oh, so that, um, that equipment bot right there, how do I get up there? 
This equipment bot right here, what the equipment bot does is it will take the equipment that you currently have. So the equipment I currently have, the uh, black hole thing, it'll take it and it'll use it every time it's available. So if you have something like the, um, the missiles that shoot um, every so often, you'll want to give that to him because he'll just do it nonstop um, every time it's ready. Um, or like there used to be, which I have not seen it in over a year. There used to be like a lightning bolt one. That one is very powerful. I don't know if they took it out or whatever. Um, but that one I would also give to the equipment bot. The only bad thing is though that if that equipment bot dies, you don't get that equipment back. I don't think it's possible to pick it up or anything like that. So you basically lose the equipment. But um, if you already have a decent one and you want to give him like a second one that you found or something, then obviously you would go for it. Instantly kill, low health, elite monsters. Oh, nice. I would definitely take that. I don't know what identifies them as elite monsters, though. Oh, the black hole kept going, and then it dropped them over there. I was wondering why they were moving away. What do we got here? Uh, chance kill, ammo, pack, and resets all the cooldowns. Oh, okay. I like that. Uh, another one. That works. That's it? Okay. Alright, and then we need to check this last area, and then we will go to the portal from here. In fact, after we unlock the Artificer, uh, we may call it quits. We've been going for roughly about an hour. Alright, nothing up there, so we can jump down here. Hit that little jetpack right before we hit so we don't die. Yes, this is crossplay. Uh, you can play up to four players. Um, I will say though that I like if you're playing with someone else, that's perfectly fine. But if you're playing with randoms, um, be very careful because there's um, uh, there's artifacts in the game that can make the game harder. If you're not all picking the same difficulty, um, you're probably not gonna like it just because everyone else wants to play on like hard difficulty. Where if you're new to the game and you're trying to play on easy, it's just not gonna like it's not gonna be fun for you. You're gonna die a lot and. Um, I think you can revive each other, um, but even after reviving each other, um, or e even if you don't revive each other, if you if well, at least one person makes it to the next stage, they will come back alive. So here we go. Now, once this fills up to 100, this blue orb here will turn into a portal. Uh, I just unlocked a mercenary man. Um, do you know how to do it? Do you know how to get the mercenary? I covered that at the beginning of this live. Um, but if you don't know how, I can I can definitely at least tell you. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. So, the blue orb spawns in this. We'll come over here. Jump in. It's just like opening the portal there. Um, basically you get to the end of the game, but you don't beat it in the traditional way. Like you don't fight the last boss. Um, there'll be, uh, it'll kind of look like this area. Um, it's like a light blue map type thing and you have to jump down to a whole bunch of different spots and then there'll be like a big icon looking thing. No, no, no. You don't have to loop. Um, you just have to obliterate yourself. So um, you go in there and you obliterate yourself and that's it. That's all you have to do to unlock the mercenary. Alright, we can unlock this guy. That is the Artificer. That's the one I was aiming for. He's the one that I very first beat the game with, which is crazy because um, I played this game a ton before actually being able to beat this game. Uh, let's see. I don't like that place. 
Uh, that would be where you unlock the loader. Don't want to trade three items. Don't want five. I don't remember what all of these items do, but most of them have negative effects as well. So we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is we're going to go see about unlocking someone else. Um, so what we can do... Ooh, how do I get down there? This is going to be a little tricky with this guy because I don't have a double jump or anything, basically. Hey, look, my Streamlabs is working. It's weird that it did it all at once, but it's, at least it's working. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to mess this up. Okay, here we go. Here. Then here. Waiting for my jetpack. And then in here. Alright, and then this is how you get to the uh the void fields. This is for acrid. I never noticed this big skeleton thing before. Ow. Alright, so this one's going to be a little tricky. We're probably going to die here, but we already unlocked out of Artificer anyway, so... Uh, let's see, I saw the area, but when I start to, tel to teleport, do I fight? Or then do I go to Celestial, or do I enter the teleporter and keep going until it tells me... So basically, um, it'll have like a blue portal, kind of like the one that we just went through, almost like this one. When you click on it, it'll say, do you wish to obliterate? Um, you'll hit yes, and then nothing will happen. It'll, the, um, actually, you know what? It won't even have a teleporter. So it's like a big icon thing that's on the map. Um, you'll walk up to it. It'll ask, you, do you want to obliterate? Um, you'll hit yes, and then it'll say, are you sure? Still at the icon, there won't be a portal there. If you hit square again, well, for PlayStation, if you hit square um, to confirm that you want to obliterate, then it'll just obliterate you right there on the spot. If you go down and around to go to the loop, that's a totally different thing. You have to stay at that icon and just obliterate again. Like, just hit the button again to confirm it. And then it'll, obliter it'll obliterate you right there on the spot. It'll end the game, and that's how you unlock a mercenary. All right, and then like I said, this is gonna be a little bit difficult, but we're gonna do it. So basically that is the portal over there. No, you don't have to loop. Um, so that's the portal over there. You have to find nine of these. It tells you in the top right, activate all cell fence. We're gonna hit square here. Opens up the bubble. There's gonna be a whole bunch of enemies that spawn in. Oh, and with these enemies, you basically have to kill them all. Well, you don't have to kill them all, you just have to um, stay in the circle until it reaches 100%. And then once that reaches 100%, the circle will close and another one, another cell will open. Yeah, um, Acrid's usually the hardest one to get for me. I tried this yesterday and um, like I know how to do it, it's just it's a pain in the butt, man. Like, I did this yesterday, I made it to eight of nine cells, and on the ninth cell I died. Well, on the last one. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with this one either, because I don't have enough uh, stuff on this guy, I don't think. I mean, I have a lot of stuff, but not enough. I'll take that. Alright, so this cell's complete, it starts closing the little bubble. Now the beam that was coming out of here, we just need to look for another one. The problem is when you're running out here, you start taking uh, health damage. So we're gonna come over here. Dude, I don't know what's going on with my Streamlabs. That thing, like it has not been working. One person said hello in my chat, um, which thank you Personal Void for talking. Um, and all of a sudden everything on Streamlabs activated. 
I guess it just doesn't do it when no one else is, isn't being active in the chat. Which was throwing me off big time. Thought there was another one. I guess he died already. No, no, I have that. Um, but even with me typing there, because I was testing it the other day, it said it, uh, I think, five lines or something like that. But literally, all Personal Void 555 said was hello, and it kicked off. It sent all of them at the same time. Uh, for the final, the random mix to myth Mythrix to... Yeah. Oh, grab that. This one's done. Um, I don't see the line. Sounds like something else is running out here with me. I guess that's the music, maybe? Oh, there's a line way over there. It's actually good because our, our health is keeping us healed up. So we're not taking damage running around out here. The bad thing is that we're already on insane, so these guys are going to be doing more damage than I want them to. Go ahead and activate this one. Normally I wouldn't like all these flying things, but they don't seem very strong, honestly, so I'm okay with it. The last time I had the birds, the birds were annoying. Yeah, I, dude, whenever I'm unlocking anything, I normally play by myself just because um, it's, it's a lot easier, or not easier, um, it's basically... Uh, yeah, I guess it's easier because you don't have to like argue with people people um, Mozart the second for you to do slots you have to have points um, if you do exclamation point um, Chaos points, I think it will tell you how many points you have if you don't have any points uh, I will definitely give you some but you also have to do exclamation point slots and then the number that you want to basically put in slots so if you have like, you know, 20 coins or whatever, then it will basically bet those 20 coins. Mythics, um, they are basically random. They're, it's kind of how you get the, um, like the equipment and stuff. It is completely random on how you get those as far as I know. Um, but I know it's also a lot easier when you're doing things with artifacts. I don't have any artifacts in this one. I had almost all of them on the PS4, um, but I have not tried doing anything with the artifacts on the PS5 yet. So it basically it started the game all over again for me on the PS5 because I didn't copy over the uh, the save data. Oh, how do you get the artifacts? Um, you just go into the game, and um, there'll be certain spots where you'll see them at. Um, they'll just be kind of like scattered around. Uh, there's different things you have to do for certain ones. Um, I know one of the easiest ones to get is on the stage uh, that's kind of floating up in the air or whatever. So if it's like floating up in the air, um, I'd have to show you the stage, man. I don't even know what the stage is called. But basically there's one where it's like floating up in the air. There's a spot where you can jump down underneath and it'll have you change like a whole bunch of icons to match like what's in there. And once you do that, it'll give you an artifact. Can't believe I only have 612 health.
I mean, it's working, but we're also only at four of nine. Oh, was that a bird behind me? No, it's not a bird. There is a bird here somewhere. Ah, birds! On oh, my watch. Yeah, um, I have that one on the PS4. Um, I have, I think there's like a total of nine different artifacts. I might be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, there's some pretty cool ones out there. There's ones that just make the, the, um, the game harder in general. Um, but that's the thing is a lot of people will pick those because yes, you get more items when you're playing the game harder, but it's also way harder and if you don't have items to begin with or you're not good at the game um it can be a pain in the butt here you go hang on uh gaming with mozart the second i can do something like where's that where's that where's that uh we will do that all right, um, you should have a hundred coins now. Now you can uh, spend your, your coins, man. Um, let's see, so that's, okay, next one's over there. Oh, no, no, it's cool, man. The, the bad thing is this, um, the Streamlabs is made for, um, what's it called? It's made for Twitch. So the bad thing is for you to actually get coins in in this chat, in YouTube, you have to be very active in the chat. If you're not active in the chat, it won't even register that you're in here and it won't give you any coins. So it's kind of questionable on whether I want to keep using the this one or not. But it is the only one that I've noticed that works at least decently and still has the loyalty system. Birds are annoying. Yeah, see, now Streamlabs is just going crazy. I'm going to need to, like, stop it. Not stop it, but I'm going to have to change it. I'll have to mess with that offline. Um, I'm playing as the normal character, the, uh, the commando. Commando. Uh, it could be the script, man. Yeah, um, and you could definitely customize it, but, ooh. I don't know if I want to, man. I would probably break it if I tried it. Yeah, I'm playing as a commando right now. Um, yesterday I, I beat it, like, I actually did the, um, the final boss with the commando. And then I obliterated with, uh, multi which is crazy because I did not like him as a character, but once you get his speed up, he is an absolute beast. And I just did not expect that. Oh, that's noble. I thought it was uh, something else. Also yesterday, I don't know what's going on. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's doing it right now because I'm not having an issue talking with you guys. Um, yesterday, I was streaming, I mean, granted it was technically this morning. I was streaming at like two in the morning and the lag between YouTube and the video I was doing, it was ridiculous. It was like a good minute. Like people were coming in, I would try responding to them if they said hi or anything, or just if I noticed that they come in, came in here and my stream was like so far behind, I don't know why. Um, I only like him because of his, uh, the R1 ability down there on the bottom right um, that one it stuns creatures so when you get guys like this you can stun them in place for a second it doesn't last very long but it definitely helps um, when the golems try shooting their beam at you you can turn around and use that on them and it will uh, it'll stun them too so I, I don't know I mean I think he's just a well-rounded overall character um, the ones I don't like or not ones I guess the one of the main ones I don't like which I have no problem using her, I just don't like to, is uh, the Huntress. Just because you can't even shoot with her unless you're actually targeting something. 
What do we got here? Another one of these. I'll take it. Next one is right below us. What are we at? Seven of nine. Still haven't had any issues yet, so let's see what happens here. Ah, I can't aim that far up. Okay, you're moving way too fast. Let's do that. Ah! Wow, did it not pull down? Oh, it did, but I think he died. Yeah, see, I had to put that thing in there for Streamlabs, too. It says being active in chat. Ah! Um, can you add people in cross game? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm honestly not sure on that. I know there's crossplay because there's an option to pick the crossplay or not. But I don't know because I don't think that the, um, like, you know how, like, Epic Games has their Epic, like, um, IDs or whatever where you can add different people for, for the games that they have. Oh, nice. Finally got a double jump after all this time. Um, I don't know if whoever created this game, I don't know if they have something like that where you can actually, um, add other people or not. So I'm not sure how that works. Okay, to make that, maybe. Oh, okay. Sketchy, but we did it. Um, the last one that I did too, not only did I have the birds, but I had the buffaloes. So the buffaloes kept hitting me and I would go flying up out of the bubble. And it wasn't helping because I didn't have like good heals on my character. So I was just taking damage every time they would hit me out of the bubble. That should be a good one. Killing enemy releases, homing daggers, awesome. Old PS4, slim, back when, Call of Duty, yeah. Um, I still have my PS4 Pro. Oh, we completed it. I thought that I needed one more. Sweet. So that should have unlocked Acrid. Uh, I think we're going to go through the portals when it'll actually tell us. Streamlabs is going to be going crazy because I kept turning the timer further and further down. It never said that we unlocked Acrid. That's interesting. Either that or I missed it. Maybe I was looking away when it happened. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, it did. So if you look on the left side there, it just didn't pop up on the screen or maybe I looked away when it did it. But it says you achieved to be left alone. That's the one for Acrid. And here's one of our... Uh, Gunners over there. Leave the portal alone. He didn't do anything to you guys. I mean, he's killing you guys, but hey. Right, what else we got here? Um, which one's that? Right now, so radar scanner is not bad, um, but I don't like it. All it does is it shows you where items are on the map. I 
think it does enemies too, but I'm not really worried about enemies. More mushrooms that'll work for the heals. And then you don't have to, but I like doing this one. It's a combat one, uh, Shrine of Combat. As soon as you activate it, you're gonna get a whole bunch of enemies. But if you're lacking with points on higher levels like this, um, you might want to do it just because it'll give you more points for killing those enemies. But at the same time, they're going to be strong enemies. So depending on how good your setup is, you might want to be careful with it. But we did just do something I wasn't able to complete before with the same character. So we're going to try it. Okay. Yeah, thanks for stopping by at least, man. Appreciate it. like that we are up uh, to almost 2,000 points oh another equipment item please be something good no that just gives you armor I don't need armor and the armor only lasts for like eight seconds which is not cool no I hate those stupid things Oh look, there's my daggers, just kind of hanging out. Um, but we can activate this a few times. Oh, come on, give me something. I'm gonna take all my money. I can't even buy that one. Wow, just got ripped off. Let's try it again. Still nothing. I swear to God, if this doesn't give me, like, I don't know, something absolutely amazing for hitting it so many times, then this game is rigged. Uh, there's not much interesting going on here, too, but thanks for coming back. <laughs> Who's, uh, who's the other guy playing as? Like, what character is he using? Oh, and I don't have enough points to get anything. Oh, you know what? There was... Yeah, that's another combat thing over there. We'll go do the combat thing. Get more points. Oh, okay. Um... So you just have like that much stuff on his character. Yeah, I don't I don't have the roll on this one. Um I unlocked the uh the slide. So that way you can still shoot with it. Oh, I still can't buy that. I spent too much points already. No. Yeah, um, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes that happens on mine. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about, like, the video quality. Um, that has happened on mine. I, I think it's just YouTube at certain times. Wow, that's all I got from that. I need to stop buying that thing. Oh, 
Sorry, man. You probably tried posting his uh, his thing. Yeah, I, I don't allow links in the chat just because um, the way people try to troll on the internet and post bad things that they shouldn't. So, um, oh, I hope that doesn't time you out. I don't think it will. Give me a second. Yeah. Oh, uh, my bad, dude. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, wow, it just deleted all your messages. Hang on. I'm, I'm new to the whole Streamlabs thing here, dude. So, give me a second, maybe, if I can figure out how to make it not do that to you. Um... Crap. I mean, I can still see your chat, but it deleted all your other ones. That's really weird. And it doesn't show you timed out here. I think you're good. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it completely muted you, muted you. Because I can see the one where you said I accidentally put a period. Uh, yeah, just, um, just trying not to put, uh, links in the chat, dude. My bad. Oh, it does it when you put periods? Okay. Thank you for that. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that and change it, man. I, I don't want someone typing something the way they should be and put a period at their end of the sentence and it just deletes all their chat. Yeah, I, this is my first time, I guess, officially using Streamlabs, so... But yeah, thank you for at least um, testing that for me. You've been a great sport. <laughs> oh, I can't run up there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Items. So I haven't even seen the portal yet. Or if we have, I don't remember and forgot already. We probably have. Oh, wow. I haven't had that. Can't believe I'm just now getting that. Take whatever this is. Did he jump off? Yes, he did. Okay. Um, no, we'll check over here first. Way too much stuff on my character. Okay, something over there. We probably won't get it, but we'll check up here first. Oh, no, you're fine, man. I do that, too. Are you, um... Are you using a, uh, like, are you watching on a phone or from a computer? I do it a lot on the phone. Okay. Uh, that's going to take one item. I don't want to waste that. Nope. Whatever this is. Oh, nice. Finally got the banner. Yeah, man. Um, as soon as this is over, uh, well, I don't know when it's going to be over, but... Um, I can see about how or if it's even possible to add, like, like I said, like how, um, Epic Games has their thing where they have, like, their own unique thing to add people. Uh, we can try to add each other. But if not, I'm not sure how you would get into a game with someone that you're purposely trying to party with. I'm not sure how that works. Not on this game. Oh, there's a portal way over there. Alright, uh... 
perfect. Right. No chest up here. So sometimes there is a really nice chest up here. No, thank you. Um, but it costs quite a bit if it is up here. It's usually like in the 2000s. radar thing that I left earlier. Take that. I think we pretty much got everything off this level. I feel like there's a lot that I haven't gotten still. Um, but I also don't want to just run around the entire time on one level for you guys. Oh, actually, there's a chest right down there. So let's go grab that chest. Oh, and there is one other, two other areas I want to check real quick. That is, oh, nice. Another missile thing. Got this one. Uh, it's Chaos Eclipse, man. Just like in the, um, just like my YouTube. There's a spot where there's a geyser out here that will shoot you up into an opening. It's over there. Maybe not. Oh, actually, I think it should be, like, right here. Am I on top of it? I'm not on top of it. Yeah, there's nothing else down there. Oh, hello, everybody. You guys can have fun with that. And all die together. Perfect. It was fun meeting you all. Okay. Grab this. Got some bullets. Um. Well. I think it's all lowercase, but um, if anything, the C in Chaos and the E in Eclipse might be uh, might be capitalized. But I think it's all lowercase. I think we got everything on this level. No, we didn't. Every time I say I think we got everything, I find something else. Oh, that's the crit strike thing. It's the glasses. Also got another rusted key. Haven't even used the first one. Where was that, um... That chance pillar that costs like 1300 There it is. Oh, this is what I want to check. Guess we'll come back to that chance pillar. Oh, no, no, I already came down here. Okay. Ah. Still nothing. You gotta be kidding me. All of that for the ocular HUD. So the ocular HUD to me is not worth it. Um, it just says gain 100% critical chance for 8 seconds. Um, we'll stay with the, um, the black hole thing. Uh, and then we need to get back up over there. Where the actual portal is. 
else is up there. I don't know what it's going to give us on this one. It's probably going to be the, um, the Wandering Vagrant, maybe? The Jellyfish? Don't remember. Whoops. We will grab this, just because it's right here. We'll grab this, just because it might be something good. No. Baltic egg. Not fun. What do we got? What do we got? Wandering Vagrant, just like I thought. Okay. Don't know if this works on them. But it'll definitely keep other enemies at bay. Ow. Wow, that was quick. Okay. That was easier than I thought it would be. Grab this lily here. Go ahead and use this again, because why not? Still only at 44%. Got a heal wave there. Jesus, go a little faster. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Pull all these enemies away with that black hole. Bye. 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 see where we're at now oh what is it stage 20 um actually this is the one i was talking about where you can get um oh god where you can get a uh, an artifact i think so we're gonna find out get rid of these big guys here there's also this dude That dude cheated, he teleported back to me. No! That's not cool. Jesus. Hey, unlock something by doing that. I think you have to stay in the air for like 30 seconds or something. But that's alright, we teleported away from there, we're good. What is that, money? So this here, this book right here, it is called uh, Gore's Tome. You want that? It says chance on kill to drop uh, treasure. Every time you kill something, it has a chance of dropping like a gold little nugget. That gold nugget will give you tons of points. It's like 100 points for, and it drops it quite a bit. Uh, I don't know what area thing you're talking about that uses keys, man. I'll show you, though. Um, unless they change it. Like I said, I haven't played this in quite some time. Uh, let's see. I will show you where it's at. It's on the bottom. It's kind of hard to get to. I don't know if it's on this level or under.
See, they also have these, and these didn't used to be a thing before. And these are also new to me. So scrap one of your items if you don't like it. Oh, what are you? Yep, I will take that. So add extra two charges to your utility skill. That is our slide. Now we can slide three times in a row. Um, where the hell is this thing at? See, and this makes me think that they removed it. Is it under here? Are we on top of it? Can't tell. I think this is it. This is where it should be if it's still here. Yeah, so this area down here, let's see if it's still what it used to be. Alright, so this is the easiest one to get. So basically, um, don't hit this yet. What you have to do is you have to look at this here. So you can see that there's squares all on the edges, and then there's a triangle in the middle. So basically, you have to come over here. You have to do squares on the outside, just like it said. Ow. And then you do a triangle in the middle. Now you do have to be careful because I think there's um, there's two types of squares and two types of triangles. Let's throw that up there. Yeah, that's what I was saying, dude. I don't think there is a way to add other people. I think it's like random when you when you do it. There's the uh, the golden nugget that I was talking about. So right now I'm at 1632. If I pick that up takes me all the way to 1960 so almost 300 points there um, but anyway so basically you have to find one of these tablets and then you find this contraption you match it with the tablet like so and then you'll come over here you'll hit submit formula and it should if you did it right it should open up a portal for you ah so there's our portal um, if you want to stay, get all the stuff. Um, I'm already down here, so I'm not really worried about it. We're gonna just go ahead and jump through this bad boy. And I don't know if there's one on every stage, but like I said, I haven't found them all myself yet either. So there is one of the, um, the artifacts right there. Now, in order for you to get that artifact, you have to beat this level. So basically what happens, because it has that force field around it, it's going to give you like different waves of things coming at you. Um, you just have to defeat all the waves of everything coming at you. What do we got here? Artifact key. Oh, okay. And then we come over here. I think we use it on this. The artifact key. Yeah. So use the artifact key on that. And then here comes your first wave. Be very careful because you can fall off of here. No. Here's another artifact key. We're come over here. We're going to do it again. Like so. the next artifact key which is I don't see it I don't remember if it's timed or not is that it that's not the artifact key
No, you don't have. You never, for anything, you never have to do the loop. The loop is optional. I don't know where this artifact is. It might not be out yet. I think I have to kill some of more of these guys first. Actually, I think they might drop the artifact key. I'm about to find out. Did they drop it? I don't see it up there. Did you drop it? No. Oh, hi, big guy. Oh, there's artifact key. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, you don't want to do this on this level. Use that again. Uh, Celestial Portal. I don't remember if that's what it's called or not. It, it's not, um, for the mercenary, it's not a portal, dude. It's really not. It's, um, uh, I'll show you, man. Hang on. Where the artifact is. There it is. Got it. And we come over here. Is this the last one? It is. So there we go. And now we can actually come over here and we can grab our first artifact. So that is how you get the artifact. That's only one of them. There's a whole bunch of different ones on the different stages. You'll have to find that tablet and do different things for them. Uh, but normally it takes you to a place like this, what I was just doing, and you'll do all that stuff and go from there. Ah, I didn't make it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I should uh, I should be able to, to, um, to show you what I'm talking about, man. Because we should be able to beat this. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're pretty close. Oh, and then since we already beat the level, no more creatures are going to spawn out. We're going to go ahead and hit this. Let our health come back. Hit it again. Let our health come back. The only reason I'm doing this is um, the money, the extra money you have at the end of the round it gives it to you as XP at the end of the round. So. So if you can always get extra money at the end of the round, do it. Do it. I think I activated it, maybe? Did I not get it? No, because it would have took my money already. There we go. I think you're right. I think it might be the Celestial Portal in order to get to the area that I'm talking about. Just rush through the oh look rusted box. Lily, I'll take it. Let's just rush through here and we'll see if we can uh, get to that last point that um, where you need to be to be able to do it.
Yeah, that's because you're doing the loop. Every time you do the loop, it takes you back to this level. This is level one. That's why I said you never need to do that loop for any of it. We got two hopo hoopo feathers, which means we can now jump more than twice. One, two, okay, so we can jump three times, so one, two, three. Yeah, that's why I said you never need to do that, man. You never need to do that loop. That's all the loop does is it takes you back to stage one, but it keeps you at your current level, basically. So, like, right now we're on level 26 up in the top right. Um, but this is technically stage one, if that makes sense. Well, no matter, well, I wouldn't say no matter what, um, this is the most common first level. So every time you start a new game, this, this level here will be the one that you'll spawn in probably the most. All right, let's go ahead and exit. Nope, still not there yet. does increase heat jump jump hold interact to slam down to the ground was that me freezing or was that them let's see oh it's me doing it no that was them okay it just has one little bubble for me all right um so the place that you need to get to, man, you literally just have to keep going. There's not, um, there's not like a portal or anything, as far as I know, that you have to go through in order to get there. And I know I'm kind of contradicting myself, but it's honestly because I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there's not a portal there, dude. Well, there's a portal there, but there's not a portal you need to go through to get there, is what I mean. So bear with me, man. Let me, um... Let me just grab a few things here and we'll keep going on the on the levels. See if we can figure out where you need to go. Ah, I ran out of points. Oh hi there. Big random boss in the middle of nowhere. Uh, box up here. We did have two keys. Let's grab that one. Another boss. We'll take him for the points.
that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and get the boss. hitting me like that. Oh, it's the, uh, the rock guys. Interesting, I was nothing spawning in right now. The character has so much stuff on him. I like the little dagger looking thing. It's like an invisible arm. With just like an extra little dagger on it. Still not there. Okay, we're just gonna rush through this. We're gonna go straight to the boss. Oh, actually, there is, uh, just so you know, there's another artifact that you can get on this one. Um, you need either a flying thing or really good jumping skills. It's out there on that island. Um, if you have a flying thing, you can go up there and then completely fly out there. You should be able to make it. If you have the jumping thing, which I don't know if I have enough jumps. Oh, actually, yeah, so this is the one that you were talking about. So you see how it says in the bottom left, a celestial orb has appeared. So when we beat this one, we do need to go through that celestial um, um, portal. But it's not the loop one. It's not, they're, they're different. Um, but basically, if you have this jumping thing, I don't think I can make this. Basically, you would have to come out here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that. So, if you can get out there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, if you can get out there, there's another uh, artifact out there. Or at least another thing that will take you to a stage to get an artifact. Let me put it that way. But yeah, you should be able to see us uh, obliterate at the end of this um, this level. Let's hold you right there, guy. No, okay. Grab that. Another imp? Where's he at? Where's the imp? Oh, wait, is it the small little green ones here? That's dumb. I thought it was going to be like a big boss or something.
forgot to pick that up. Okay, yeah. So instead of going through here, you want to go through the celestial orb or the celestial portal. Make sure it's the celestial portal, not the uh, not the loop. I think when you go through the one that get, does the loop, it'll tell you that it's going through a loop. All right, and then this is where you want to be. What you need to do is where's that? This way. So you'll want to jump down all the way to the bottom. Um, if you don't have double jump or anything, don't worry. These rocks here will appear for you. And you can land on every single one of them. There is one that's like a really high... Um, or not high, but it's like an awkward... Um, what's it called? Like position, basically. Uh, awkward angle. There we go. But you can still land on it. I think it's actually this last one that's right here. Not that one. The next one. Yeah, that one. So, don't land on the side. Kind of land right there if you can. Um, but that's it. Alright, and then that's the icon over there that you have to get to. So you will come up here, right here it says obliterate yourself from existence. You'll hit square or whatever button it is for you. Now when you do that, this portal down here appears. This is the loop I think that you've been going through. Well no, it just says celestial portal. This one will keep you going through the game. Um, to obliterate yourself, you just come back up here or stay up here. I just want to show you that portal, but you'll stay up here. It says are you sure? You just hit square again, and that's it. I obliterated myself. So basically, I killed myself. The game ends. That's how you unlock the mercenary. And there we go. We now have all of them. So there's my engineer. There are his skills, if anyone wants to read those. We also have the one that I like the most, which is Artificer. There are his skills. And then we have Acrid. Which I don't know why it has... There we go. Had the little thing covering his face. Um, but this is the one I like the most. Um, like I said, they all do have different abilities that you can unlock along the way. Um, honestly, man, it's kind of random. Um, so just now, I think I was on, like, stage 8 or 9. Um, I think that's probably the lowest I've ever gotten it. Usually, I think it's around 9 or higher. Um, but literally, you just keep going, man. Um, it will automatically give you the Celestial Portal. You'll just have to keep an eye out for it. Once it gives you that Celestial Portal, then you just kind of run through it and you go and obliterate yourself. Um, and yeah, uh, looking back at my stream, because there is a bit of a delay, that was definitely stage 9. So, stage 8 was the last stage, and then stage 9 is where you can obliterate yourself. So, um, I guess stage 9 is at least the minimum that you have to do. I think it will take you there every 9 stages, but don't quote me on that. All right, man. But thank you for stopping by, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, I am going to go ahead and end the uh, the stream here. I just wanted to show everyone how to unlock all of the characters. Uh, in this one, we unlocked the three that are highlighted there. So we did the, um, the Engineer, which you have to just complete 30 stages. Does not have to be back to back. Um, I've been playing it, so we accidentally unlocked it by doing a 30th stage in this round. Uh, we did the Artificer, who we unlocked by... 
um, using 10 of the lunar coins in the bazaar where the nudes at and then this guy here we had to complete the um, the void fields and I did show you guys how to get to the void fields um, but thank you to anyone who is watching this after the fact uh, thank you to personal void 555 for stopping by um, if you guys are watching this after the recording and um, it's just there on YouTube, if you like what you see, make sure you guys are hitting subscribe on that. Definitely helps out the channel. And then also do me a favor and hit that like button. If you guys want to know every time I'm going live because I don't have a set schedule yet, um, make sure that you guys go through and you hit uh, the notification bell icon. It will let you guys know every time I'm posting new videos or every time I do go live. Um, Lunar coins are pretty uh scarce man um for the most part um i think if you beat the game you get quite a bit of them so if you don't have all your characters unlocked i know you're aiming for the mercenary but if you don't have all your characters unlocked i will say at least try beating the game at least once like actually leaving the moon and everything i think that gives you quite a bit of coins because i could have swore the other day i only had like i think it was 11 and when i logged in today i had like 23 um, and I didn't there's no way I found another 12 coins during my playthrough So I think it actually gave me a whole bunch of coins when I beat the game um, But yeah, um, I would say at least try doing that man try beating the game but thank you again, and um, I will see you guys in the next stream or the next episode Bye-bye